we are ready for semifinal game two from the Cardinal Newman Classic here at the John Fitzgerald Gymnasium, and this should be a terrific matchup. We've got the Pleasant Valley Vikings taking on the St. Mary's of Stockton Rams. St. Mary's, one of the top-ranked teams in the country, and Pleasant Valley played surprisingly well last night against Sacramento. They're a very good team, and this should be a great matchup. Yeah, Pleasant Valley's led by their guard, Kayla Joyce. She's a senior, scored 16 points last night. And I really like their inside player, Serena Tuatelli. She's only a junior, but she's very solid. 25 points last night against Sac High. St. Mary's a terrific win last night. Akira DaCosta had a great game, and we're going to take a look at her. However, she was injured in the fourth quarter and will not play tonight, so they'll be without the services of this young lady who put on quite a show last night. She just buries a three-pointer right there. Now you're going to see how versatile she is inside. Goes to the baseline, scoops up a little right-handed shot. She's left-handed, so she uses both her hands really well. They're going to have to compensate for her loss. Coach Tom Gonzalez has said he's going to go to the to the freshman here. There's Acosta again. Crossover move to her strong side of the left and lays it in. So look for the uh, freshman to get a nice chance to here today. Amaya Oliver is going to come in and play today for take over the place for Akira DeCosta. They're going to need a big game from Nina Young. She had 19 last night. She'll have to do something similar tonight. For Pleasant Valley, they were able to get it down low to Serena Tuatelli, their post player. She had 25 points last night, so they will need her to have a, a really big game tonight as well. She was kind of shaken up at one point last night as well, but she came back into the game and ended up with a huge game. Yeah, we watched her. They put some tape on her leg yesterday, Dave. We were a little surprised. Looked like a cast they put on her, but she did a good job. Came back in. Coach Tyler Newton did a really good job last year. In his first year, they were 26 wins and two losses. He did a good job of, of uh, weathering the storm in the first game of the tournament against Sac High. Good evening, everyone. All right, so we're going to take a break right here, and we'll be back with the start of this one. It should be a good one. The Rams and the Vikings coming up next here live on YSN365.com. Are you searching for a great high school experience? Cardinal Newman is the only Catholic college preparatory high school in Santa Rosa. Be a part of a community where you will be known and supported during these key years of growth. Be a part of a fun and positive student body who embraces challenge and responsibility through faith, academics, service, visual and performing arts, and competition. Learn how to apply at cardinalnewman.org. Tonight's game presented by title sponsor Cameron and Cameron Ranch and Vineyard Supply featuring hand split redwood posts for a beautiful split rail fence. Cameron and Cameron delivering quality for over 40 years. At George Peterson Insurance, we support the communities we serve and live in. You'll find us helping out at the Boys and Girls Club and Sonoma Humane Society, collecting food for the Redwood Empire Food Bank and more. It's our goal to make our neighborhoods a better place. We're invested in your success. For over 75 years, George Peterson Insurance has been serving our communities and customers with top-notch service and competitive pricing. Find out what we have to offer. George Peterson Insurance, we've got your back. Malloy, Emory, and Vasconi Insurance Services, a professional agency with personal service, insuring wine country since 1890. The Loft, Sonoma County's premier full-service salon in Fountain Grove, voted best of Sonoma County's best salon. Good luck to both teams. Sort of about ready to go, and as we were talking about uh, Carita DaCosta not going to play tonight, we were well informed that she wasn't going to play. She was announced as a starter, so I'm not sure what that's all about, but uh, apparently... She shot around, the knee felt a little bit better, and here she is. She's gonna yeah, start. I'm excited about it. Okay, I really want to see her match up against Serena Tuatelli. I think that's going to be a really good matchup in the post position there. Uh, you know, we're, we're both good hitters, Dave. We've got a curveball thrown at us. But yeah, no doubt about it. Here you see Cardinal Lima with the 85-54 win. They advance in the bracket. Last night, Pleasant Valley, the win over Sacramento. Great game. And then St. Mary's of Stockton over Menlo Atherton. Menlo Atherton played them very tough. In fact, they were within three late in the third quarter. Had a couple shots to tie the game and just didn't hit them. 
St. Mary's has got a really deep bench, very athletic. This ought to be a good one, Dave. So here we go, Tua Telly and DaCosta will jump center and it's St. Mary's who controls the tap. Ariel Johnson uh, had a good game as well last night for the Rams, takes it up top, spin in the lane. Down the lane and that basket is laid in nicely by Ariel Johnson. Full court pressure here by St. Mary's. See how Pleasant Valley handles the pressure. They do a pretty good job there. Joyce up top. Off the front iron, there's DaCosta. Such a great rebounder. She has great anticipation and timing and goes up with that left hand. St. Mary's already up by two. They'll try and add to that here. Kick it out, there's Nina Young. Taken down by Tua Telly. She almost loses it, now she does lose it underneath. And a travel call that goes against the freshman, Amaya Oliver. We saw a great freshman for Cardinal Newman and Anya Choice. Amaya Oliver is very highly ranked, one of the top ranked freshmen in the entire country. Here's that full court pressure by St. Mary's. Let's see how Pleasant Valley does in breaking the press. Kayla Joyce gets it across to Holloway. So far, Pleasant Valley handling things very nicely. Holloway for three. They're going to need to hit some shots like that. Nina Young has the rebound for St. Mary's. Rams bringing it up the floor now. And they'll set the half-court game. They've had two good looks, Dave. Both shots have come up offline. Nina Young, nice crossover down the lane. And she's fouled. So what do you think happened? Yeah, Coach Gonzalez assured everybody that a career DaCosta was not going to play tonight. Was he just holding back a card and kind of messing with everybody a little bit? Or did, yeah. did he really uh, have a change of heart at the last second? What do you think? That's a good question. You know, when you're a 39-year coach, you're a crafty old guy. And he's been coaching for 39 years, 16 years here with St. Mary's. That foul call win against Kayla Joyce. Young is fouled right down the lane as Joyce now has two personal fouls. That is not good for Pleasant Valley. And Coach Tim Newton is going to quickly get somebody up off the bench. Chloe Meyer is going to check in. Yeah, Coach T Tyler Newton's got a big decision right now, Dave. That's their senior leader right there. He really can't afford to keep her on the court anymore. If she picks up three fouls, she's in big trouble, especially here in the first quarter. She goes to the bench. Chloe Meyer came in and replaced her. Chloe did a good job yesterday, Dave. And Nina Young hits one of two. She has three, a three-point lead now for St. Mary's of Stockton. Pleasant Valley's got to handle the pressure. Tua Telly has it batted by Young, but right there to pick it up, and then it is finally turned over again. And there's Nina Young off the glass and in. Nice pass from Jada Moss. Boy, are they good in transition. They're sharing the basketball. That was a beautiful play right there by St. Mary's. Taking that pass very nicely was Olivia Lane. She had a good game last night as well. Claire Garcia tries to dump it down low, and there's Nina Young with the steal. Three turnovers now for Pleasant Valley. That does not bode well for the Vikings. They fell behind Sacramento and then battled back, took the lead, and then won by double digits. There's Tua Telly with the rebound. This is a very high-level Division I program. They went 26-2 last year as Garcia lays it in. They're not, they're not afraid of competition. Beautiful play by Claire Garcia right there. And a long three right there. Nina Young sticks the three well beyond the arc. Tua Telly gets it. Nice bounce pass to Holloway. And she got the lay and almost missed it. Wide open underneath. Beautiful pass there by Serena Tuatelli. A bounce pass, Dave. Led her perfectly to the basket. Erica Holloway with the lay in. Very nice pass there by Tuatelli. And very good. If you can beat the press and then attack, that bodes well for Pleasant Valley. Absolutely. Here's Serena with a nice bounce pass. Beautiful lay in. 
Pleasant Valley had this happen yesterday, but they weathered the storm. Let's see what they can do here. A nail advised pass. DaCosta with the steal. Four turnovers now for Pleasant Valley. And a foul as the Vikings trying to pinch off Jada Moss underneath, and they pushed her just a little bit. Be an out of bounds play coming up now for St. Mary's underneath. St. Mary's has got a real high tempo offense. They push everything to the basket. Chloe Meyer picked up the foul there. 4.41 to go in this quarter. It's been kind of all St. Mary's, but Pleasant Valley only trails by four right now. That's a great point right there. You look up at the scoreboard, you're only two baskets behind, making three. And there's Oliver, Amaya Oliver, the freshman, with a nice Slash to the hoop, make it a six point lead. Mike Ains doing a nice job getting it across. Gets the full court pressure. There's Tua Telly. She can shoot from the outside. She showed that last night, although she misses this one. Thomas had the rebound, and there's DaCosta with some easy money at the other end. A little too easy. Akira DaCosta. And Tim Newton says, you know what, we got to take a timeout right here. It's going to be a 30-second timeout, so we'll stay live here. 12-4 to St. Mary's on a nice little run. Coach Tyler Newton did this exact same thing yesterday. Started out, here's the highlights, the long pass to DeCosta. She has a simple lay in there. But yesterday, Dave, we saw Tyler Newton do the same thing here. His team was starting out. They were getting out-hustled by sack high. This is a good time for him to kind of talk to the girls, get them settled down. They're still in the game. It's 12 to 4. It could be a lot worse. They, you know, right now, St. Mary's is really working hard on defense. They're doing a double team. Every time their ball gets passed around to Pleasant Valley, two girls from St. Mary's go to them immediately and double team them. So. Midway through this first quarter, and there's another steal for DaCosta. That's the fifth turnover now by Pleasant Valley, having trouble taking care of the rock. Nina Young for three. Boy, Dave, she's not just making those threes. She's well past the line there. Yeah. Those are NBA three-pointers. We talked about her in the open as a player that would have to step up without Akira DaCosta. She's stepping up with Akira DaCosta, and that's why they lead by 11. Yeah, you're not kidding. This is unbelievable, the pressure. Here's that long three-pointer by Nina Young. Nothing but net right there. Her second long three-pointer of the game. St. Mary's with their first double-digit lead to Atelli. Almost took it away right there. Now she does have it. First turnover by St. Mary's. Thomas in the open floor now gets it up to Kayla Joyce. Pleasant Valley working it around the horn, trying to find a hot hand, and they get a three ball from Nicole Flint off glass. Nina Young, oh my goodness, answers at the other end her third three of this first quarter. You know, Dave, an interesting move here by Tyler Newton. He's inserted the point guard, Kayla Joyce, back in the game with two fouls. Feeling like he cannot afford to let this lead slip away. They trail now by 11. If he keeps her out of the game, they might be down by 20 sooner rather than later. Yeah, here's the three-pointer for Nina Young. It's her third one of the first quarter. Backdoor cut to Costa. Dumps it off for Oliver, and Oliver's fouled. She'll shoot a pair. Amaya Oliver. Dave, I think he made a good point right there. Tyler Newton has to keep this game close. He knows it can get out of hand. He has to put his senior point guard back in the game. Kayla has to play under control to make sure she doesn't pick up that third foul. Oliver doesn't get the first one. Had a nice game last night, scored 10 points. Four of six from the free throw line in their win last night. St. Mary's taking on Minlow Atherton, and the second one is good by Oliver. Coach Gonzalez is going to the bench. 
He's already had 10 players in the game. Yeah, they have so much depth. Again, they finished number two in the nation last year. They're ranked in the top 10 right now to start the season. Kayla Joyce, the daunting task of bringing it up against the press, but Pleasant Valley plays it very well, but you have to account for uh, to Costa. There's a travel call against Lane. Six turnovers by Pleasant Valley now. Yeah, right now the turnovers are the difference in this game right now. Pleasant Valley's not getting any shots up. Nice backdoor cut. Moss had trouble hanging on to the ball, and she travels. Just the second turnover by St. Mary's of Stockton here in this first quarter. They lead it by 12. Kayla Joyce, nice move, a little crossover, gets it across, and then she, there's a bump on the far side. That was Nicole Flint. It's only their first team foul. Yeah. Amazing, as aggressive as they are on defense, as many turnovers they create that they only have one foul. That's discipline right there. Yeah, you're exactly right, Dave. That's a good point. They swarm to the ball, but they don't foul. Uh-oh. Wide open is Serena Tuatelli, and she gets her first basket of the night. Really need her to have a big game. Jada Moss the other way, blocked by Tuatelli. Pleasant Valley trying to stem the tide here a little bit. Kayla Joyce, nice pump fake, but she traveled. Well, that was a tough break right there. Kayla did a good job of getting the defender up in the air, but she drug her pivot foot. You might get away with that in the NBA, but not in high school basketball. You're so right about that. Nina Young. St. Mary's working the shot clock. 10 seconds to shoot, backdoor cut, Nina Young. 14 points for Young here in the first quarter. Steal, Jada Moss takes it away. Moss takes the pass, kicks it out. Young will try it again, 4-3. 17 points for Nina Young with a minute and 21 to go. We'll step aside right here. St. Mary's up big and on a roll. We'll be back with more from the semifinals of the Cardinal Newman Classic. Cardinal Newman is the only Catholic college preparatory high school in Santa Rosa. Be a part of a community where you will be known and supported during these key years of growth. Be a part of a fun and positive student body who embraces challenge and responsibility through faith, academics, service, visual and performing arts, and competition. Learn how to apply at cardinalnewman.org. Tonight's game presented by title sponsor Cameron and Cameron Ranch and Vineyard Supply featuring hand split redwood posts for a beautiful split rail fence. Cameron and Cameron delivering quality for over 40 years. So a nice little run here for St. Mary's of Stockton as Nina Young now has 17 points in this ball game. They got to put they can't let her have open looks. Pleasant Valley trying to hang in there. Kayla Joyce travels. Wow. Pleasant Valley's doing a really good job of breaking the press and they're getting good looks. They just have to cut their mistakes down. Well, St. Mary's gets you to play at such a frantic pace, a lot of times you will make uncharacteristic mistakes like travel. Young tries to dish it into the corner to a telly with the block as she swats that. Jada Moss a little shaken wow. up on that play. Here's a replay. Jada Moss goes to the basket. Tuatelli blocks it. Out of bounds, no foul called. So far, DeCosta really hasn't exerted herself on offense. Trying to dish it underneath, and Oliver has it. Oliver again, 
and doesn't finish, but she'll get two free throws. Amaya Oliver with an offensive rebound, and she'll go to the free throw line. She's working real hard in there. She's getting her opportunity here, the freshman. I'm impressed with a lot of the freshmen we're seeing in this tournament. There's a lot, these teams are all quality teams. And to have freshmen playing at this level, these, all these programs are gonna be strong for the coming years. Yeah, no doubt, and success breeds success. You have a good run, you, you do well, attracts better players into your program, and that's exactly what we've seen over the years for St. Mary's of Stockton. Oliver gets the second. She has four points. 39 seconds remain here in this first quarter. They play in that independent league, Dave. They don't, they don't have a league they're in, so they're going to go to Arizona and play a lot of games in Arizona. To Atelli, fires it underneath. Back up top it goes. Kayla Joyce will try a three, and she gets it. Kayla Joyce had a real nice game last night, as you mentioned in the open. And she gets her first basket of the night right here for Pleasant Valley. That Those three-pointers have got to drop. Yeah, something to build off of for Pleasant Valley and see if they can get a hold here at the end of the quarter. Offensive rebound, Oliver. She'll get another shot at it, and she puts it in. There's a big size mismatch there. At the buzzer, Garcia's shot is no good. And it is 27 to 12, a 15 point lead for the St. Mary's of Stockton Rams, led by 17 points by Nina Young. We'll take a break right here and be back with the start of quarter number two here in the Cardinal Luma Classic semifinals. North Bay Elite AAU Girls Basketball attending the top NCAA showcases in the country with former players competing at the NCAA Division 1, 2, 3 and NAIA levels. Winners of two Pacific District Level 1 National Qualifiers for the best in girls AAU basketball. It's the North Bay Elite. Are you searching for a great high school experience? Cardinal Newman is the only Catholic college preparatory high school in Santa Rosa. Be a part of a community where you will be known and supported during these key years of growth. Be a part of a fun and positive student body who embraces challenge and responsibility through faith, academics, service, visual and performing arts, and competition. Learn how to apply at cardinalnewman.org. Start quarter number two, a 15 point lead for St. Mary's of Stockton turning the corner. Garcia is fouled up top. Look at the defense right there by St. Mary's. They have three girls on the ball. They just swarm you on defense. There's two Atelli blocked by DaCosta. Wow. Didn't foul her. Got a hand up in her face and blocked the shot. That's why she is the top ranked junior in the country. Ranked in the top 10 by ESPN overall players in the nation. Down the lane, Oliver. Those were two of the top junior centers in the area here, to Atelli and DeCosta. All the way up top, a 17 point lead now for St. Mary's. 27 point first quarter, Dave. Pleasant Valley's working hard on defense, but the size and the athleticism for St. Mary's is just too much for them to overcome. And they have to take- Mason called for the foul that time, her first personal foul. They have to take care of the ball better if they're gonna get any chance to get back in the game. Garcia fires it underneath. Look out, DaCosta's right there on defense. Kept alive for Pleasant Valley, however, but Garcia travels. They've had a tough time with that tonight. Lane had the rebound. Well, the defenders for St. Mary's go flying at him so fast that they're trying to avoid him, and they get that pivot put, and they drag it.
to Costa up top. And there's Nina Young one more time. 19 points for Nina Young. And we are just one minute into the second quarter. She's on her way to a huge night for St. Mary's of Stockton. Garcia with the double team. She gets away from it. Kayla Joyce finds Holloway. Erica Holloway for three. Big basket. St. Mary's just putting on a clinic of how to run your offense. Nikki Mason hits a three. St. Mary's gets it across. They're very good at finding the open player and hitting their shots. Joyce backing out now, and it's taken away. Jada Moss, no good, gets her own miss. Look out, St. Mary's racking up the steals, and they lead by 21. They're not taking the press off either. Erica Holloway back up top. Garcia got it. Tough three. She had a St. Mary's defender draped all over. But DaCosta at the other end. Akira DaCosta with just her second basket of the night. That one in transition after a made basket. They get the lay-in at the other end. And now a travel again. That's their fourth traveling call here and so far in the game. You know, Davey, when you watch St. Mary's, they're so technically sound. They go back door. If they don't get the, the pass out on the wing, they go back door and they get that back door pass and a nice layup. I mean, that's just textbook coaching by coach Tom Gonzalez there. He does a great job of it. Ariel Johnson now for St. Mary's with a 20-point lead for the Rams. DaCosta trying to go down the lane, but it's taken away by Lane, and Lane slips it ahead to Garcia. Nice move by Olivia Lane. See if Holloway can hit the three. A little strong. DaCosta has the board. She just scooped that rebound up there. Ariel Johnson, but there's DaCosta and one. Sliding to the ground, she managed to throw it off the glass. Remember, she's left-handed. She threw that up with her right hand as she was falling to the ground. Here's that replay. Drive to the basket, the shot missed. DeCosta gets the rebound, throws it back in. She's fouled. So much for that hurt knee, though, Dave. I'm not seeing it okay. She's really looking athleticism, athletic here. Goes to the free throw line and misses the free throw here. I believe we have a final score from that Division II NCS football game as Kayla Joyce fires up the three and sinks it. Nice job, Kayla Joyce. Tom Gonzalez takes a timeout just before the turnover at the other end. Some of the Pleasant Valley fans getting a little bit upset. Proud program, they're not used to getting beat, certainly not used to being behind by 19 points in the second quarter, that's for sure. Yeah, well, St. Mary's just is swarming on defense. They're just, it's tough. Pleasant Valley's never seen any kind of a team with this type of speed, I gotta believe. St. Mary's is one of the top teams in this whole nation. I, when I was talking to Coach Tom Gonzalez before, he was telling me that 16 straight division appearances by teams in the San Joaquin section. So, this is a quality program. And we mentioned that. No weak teams in this tournament. Every team in this tournament brings it every game. So I'm wondering if St. Mary's is going to get 100 points in this game the way they're scoring. They're going to try, yeah. They, they've, <laughs> they're well on their way. 40 points here with 438 left. This is a big challenge for Coach Tyler Newton. Nina Young kicks it outside. And Young gets the return pass and another three. This is quite a shooting display Nina Young's putting on. If they hit 100, Nina Young may get 40 of those the way she's shooting tonight. <laughs> Down the lane to a telly. Big basket right there. Great hustle by Tuatelli to keep it in. Oops. 
really good hustle by Serena Tuatelli there, Dave. Ball was going out of bounds. Just kept it in play for her team to try to push it up court, but again, their problem is they're turning the ball over too many times in this game. Under four minutes to go now, second quarter. A 20-point lead for St. Mary's of Stockton. Nina Young again. Unbelievable. 25 points for Nina Young. She cannot miss. Wow. This is quite a shooting display we're seeing here. Kayla Joyce gets nice. it across. Nicole Flint. Now it's Joyce again. There's Erica Holloway. Kept alive by Flint, scooped up. Tuatelli taps it in. Beautiful, with one hand, Tuatelli just took that rebound and pushed it right back in. Credit Nicole Flint for keeping that possession alive. Jada Moss skies for the rebound, tries to pass it underneath in a rare turnover for St. Mary's as Olivia Lane goes down the lane and scores. Olivia Lane with a big basket. She had a good game last night with seven points. Jada Moss now the other way. And an offensive foul call that goes against St. Mary's. Well, we got a breakneck, breakneck pace going right now. Both teams just up and down the court. Pleasant Valley here. Coach Tom Gonzalez is not happy right now with the, taking out Jada Moss. Pleasant Valley trying to get Creep back into the game here. Down he, by 19. Safe to say Tom Gonzalez is a very intense basketball coach. I think you could use the word intense for him. Nicole Flint is fouled. Well, you don't, you don't have as many winning teams as he's had, Dave, without being intense. He wanted to bring the best out of his girls. That's his goal, and he does it year in and year out. Nina Young comes down with that rebound after disrupting the shot. DaCosta now guarded by Tuatelli. Picks up her dribble but manages to get the ball to Carolyn Stevens. Nina Young calling for them to reset the half court now. Up top it goes to Amaya Oliver and the freshman Sticks the three, 11 points for Oliver in the first half. And the lead is now 22 for St. Mary's of Stockton. How do you stop the Rams? A little flip up that time by Nicole Flint. And remember, they're playing without Najee Murray, who has signed to San Diego State. She's a Division I player that has an ACL injury, and she's out for the season. Imagine this team with another Division I player. Yep, they also have Nicole Youngs out, and like you mentioned, Dave, two top players. They're hoping to get Najee Murray back at, in January or possibly February for the, for the playoffs. Minute and 35 to go. Nice bounce pass and a lay-in by Tuatelli. Pleasant Valley trying to hang in there. DaCosta fires the three. Akira DaCosta. I can tell you, this is fun to watch, Dave. To a telly. There's DaCosta right there going up for the rebound. Great timing again. I tell you what, St. Mary's is up by 21 points right then. They're doing this to a very good Pleasant Valley team. They made sack high by double digits last night in the first round. Well, St. Mary's is feeling it right now. They're very relaxed. Both their post players have just buried three-pointers on consecutive trips down the court here. So uh, this is quite a display we're seeing here. Remember, the winner of this is going to play Cardinal Newman tomorrow night for the championship, and that's going to be a heck of a battle. Right now it looks like St. Mary's and Cardinal Newman. Five o'clock is that game time, Dave? Uh, that'll be a 5 p.m. tip-off. Here comes St. Mary's now. Ariel Johnson. Flipping it into the corner, no good. She's gonna go to the free throw line for three free throws. She's fouled on that attempt. 
They're going to go to halftime with possibly 55 points if she buries these three. And the half still 44 seconds left in the half. Foul call went against Flint. You know, if Pleasant Valley could have done a little better job at the beginning of the game controlling the, their turnovers, they possibly could be in the game, but they just didn't get enough shot attempts early with all their turnovers, and that's why St. Mary's has got a 21-point lead right now. I think we might St. Mary's is in the bonus. We might have found their Achilles heel here. They're not shooting free throws very well. Doesn't get him, and there's DaCosta trying to shoot it up backwards. She got a couple of rebounds out of the deal. Well, it was pretty artistic shots by Acosta there. They didn't go in, but two in a row, she figured if she didn't make the first one, she'd try the same one behind over her, over her shoulder shot there. Kayla Joyce bringing it up now. Taken away by St. Mary's. Ariel Johnson for three. Nice rebound. Taken down by Chloe Meyer. Meyer trying to push the pace. Nice little hesitation move. Garcia for three. Claire Garcia. Beautiful job by Meyer finding the open player there for the three-pointer. So Pleasant Valley hanging in there as they get that basket. Nina Young, why not? Oh my goodness. She finally missed a shot. <laughs> that one from about 30 feet. She was dead on on it though, okay? Just back rim. Yeah, she hit back rim, no doubt about that. 25 points for Nina Young in the first half. It's a 52 to 34 lead for St. Mary's as the teams head into the locker room. And Akira DaCosta did her thing. She had five rebounds and seven points, but Nina Young was really the big story. That was definitely one of the, the greatest shooting halves I've ever seen a, a woman have, okay? She was just dead on on all of her shots. I believe the only three-pointer she missed, Dave, was the last 30-footer here at the end of the half. Yeah, I guess you got to give her that. No big deal. St. Mary's up. By 18 points, Pleasant Valley hanging in there. We'll take a break right here and be back with some highlights of the first half. Tonight's game presented by title sponsor Cameron and Cameron Ranch and Vineyard Supply featuring hand split redwood posts for a beautiful split rail fence. Cameron and Cameron delivering quality for over 40 years. Malloy, Emory, and Vasconi Insurance Services, a professional agency with personal service, insuring wine country since 1890. Need help putting together a corporate gathering, fundraising event, or party? JGW Events is the answer. JGW Events is the answer. Judy Groverman Walker and her team can take the stress and guesswork out of putting together your next successful event. From one day gatherings to multi day festivals, no event is too large or too small. JGW Events. North Bay Elite AAU Girls Basketball attending the top NCAA showcases in the country with former players competing at the NCAA Division 1, 2, 3 and NAIA levels. Winners of two Pacific District Level 1 National Qualifiers for the best in girls AAU basketball. It's the North Bay Elite. Dave Cox and Nick Matos back with you here at the half. St. Mary's of Stockton with an 18-point lead over Pleasant Valley. Some crazy action from the first half. We're going to take a look at the highlights, and a lot of them with Nene Young. She's quite a shooter there. I've never seen a display like that out of a woman in a long time. There's the Acosta with the layup. There's Nina Young for one of her threes. That was on the left side. She made several of them from the right side. St. Mary swings the ball. Nice three-point shot. Hits a three. 
St. Mary's just did a good job of, of pushing their offense. Here's Pleasant Valley. Serena Tuatelli with a nice lay-in. Ball goes back to Tuatelli. Over to Kaylin Joyce. And Joyce buries a three. Coach Tyler Newton took his chance there and put Kayla back in the game in the first quarter when she had two fouls, but she was able to weather the storm there. It's quite a first half, 25 points for Nina Young. Turnovers mounted on Pleasant Valley. They ended up with 14 turnovers in that first half and a huge rebounding advantage for St. Mary's. Pleasant Valley only had five rebounds in the first half. Tuatelli did a good job right there of getting a rebound. A block shot. Stockton had 17 rebounds, so that was that was a big difference. Turnovers and rebounds right there. No doubt. You gotta get a shot up. That's the object. Every time down, get a shot up and, le and a quality shot. Kayla Joyce passes underneath. There's another turnover. Nina Young. And she gets the steal after the miss. Tries to go behind the back to Oliver. Taken back away. Garcia no good. St. Mary's is just so athletic, Dave. It's really hard to overcome their athleticism. Tall, athletic, swarm to the ball on defense. Jada Moss up top to Oliver. Neither team has scored here in the first minute. There's Nina Young doing Beautiful. it again. She now has 27 points. Beautiful play by the freshman, though. She set her up with a nice assist. Garcia had a good first half. She had eight points for Pleasant Valley. There's Holloway. They'll need some threes. Holloway almost got that one. She was bumped after the shot. Tim Newton wasn't happy about that. He thought she should have got free throws on that one. She had a good look at it. Nice rebound there for Kayla Joyce. I think the referees are doing a really good job in this, these two games that we've watched here, Dave. Keeping the game under control. Two outstanding referees here in these, these two games that we've had tonight. 54-34, a 20-point lead. Garcia down the lane, doesn't get the roll. Tapped out of bounds. Tuatelli's doing her best to keep him in tune here. She's fighting in there, hasn't given up. Pleasant Valley still scrapping, down by 20. Kayla Joyce fouled up top. We have a final from the NCS Division II championship game. Camp Lindo 40, Windsor 20. So Camp Lindo moves on to North House. Congratulations to the Cougars. Yeah, congratulations to the Windsor Jaguars. They had a great season. Nobody thought they were going to get this far, this deep into the playoffs. They did really good season. Their quarterback, Kobe Roman, is fantastic. Kayla Joyce up top. 15-footer, got the roll. Nice shot by Kayla Joyce. This Pleasant Valley continues to hang in there. They chip away at the lead a little bit here. It's an 18-point bulge, and Tuatelli kicks the ball. Pleasant Valley's sticking with it. They're settling down a little bit here. If they could just cut their turnovers down and get a chance. I don't think they're going to be able to do much on the rebounding. It's just They're just so outsized here. But turnovers are what's killing them. They have to get shots up every time. DaCosta working against Tuatelli, and she fires up a three off the glass. Ten points now for Akira DaCosta. Pretty nice game considering we were told she wasn't even going to play tonight. I think I heard her yell, Bank. I don't know. <laughs> Garcia fires up a long three to Atelli right there for an offensive oh. board and does not get the putback. Nina Young gets it ahead to DaCosta. Up strong with the right hand, and she'll go to the free throw line. That was pretty right there. DaCosta got the ball out at the top of the key. One dribble, two steps, and she gets a lay-in. Yeah, she's just so athletic. It's going to be interesting to watch her battle against Lauren Walker tomorrow night. Kira DaCosta makes the first one. 
Lauren Walker might be one of the, the few players that might be taller than Di Costa. Costa gets them both. St. Mary's in a half court press this time. Move their full court press back. Gayla Joyce with the bounce pass across. To Atelli trying to keep it alive. Holloway foul from behind by to Costa, nice job by Holloway to hustle for the ball. To Atelli also kept that alive with a tap in. Rebounds hard to come by by Pleasant Valley. I'm sure that's something Tim Newton talked a lot about at halftime. They've got to block out. They've got to at least try to get position against the much taller St. Mary's Rams. There's to Costa. Seven rebounds now for Akira to Costa. Nina Young. Flint has that rebound. To Atelli in trouble. Double team there, but she's fouled in the backcourt. You know, Dave, you don't see that very often, that they put a full court press on after a missed shot. They're not waiting for the ball to be out of bounds. They're, they full court press right after the missed shot. It's very unique. Five team fouls now against St. Mary's. There's DaCosta with another steal. She steps in front of that pass. Kira DaCosta up top now. Nina Young wide open for three. Doesn't get it. She's cooled off a little bit here in the second half. And now a hold call. It's going to go against St. Mary's. They walk to the other end. I think Nina liked the basket on the other end. Okay, she had such a great shooting half in the first half there. She hasn't hit one here on this side of the basket. Picked up her second personal foul. She's picked up two fouls in the last minute or so. De Costa goes to the bench for a little breather. Maya Oliver going for the steal right there. Almost got there. That's not a very well advised pass right there. You cannot throw it over three players like that. It's going to get picked every time. Pleasant Valley just inside the line, no good. That's Ariel Johnson who has the rebound. Huge rebounding advantage for St. Mary's. Winner of this play is Cardinal Newman tomorrow night in the championship game as Holloway comes down with a free throw. Cardinal Newman scored 85 tonight, defending Division IV state champs. Nice runner there by Chloe Meyer. Little float shot off of one foot. A little strong that time by Caroline Stevens, but Nina Young gets another opportunity. She's missed a couple in a row, and bodies hit the floor. Finally, Joe Harris stops action. Somebody's got to get a foul out of that. Olivia Lane's working real hard in there. Got underneath the legs. Looks a little bit like a rugby scrum right there as we see Nina Young cooling off just a bit. Yeah, there's a pile up there. They call the foul on, on Olivia. Lane with her second personal foul, just the second team foul against Pleasant Valley. 19 point lead for St. Mary's and a rare turnover by the Rams. She thought the pass was gonna go in there to the freshman and the freshman hold her position and didn't break out. Little miscommunication there. Nice job by Pleasant Valley to get across. They'll see if they can attack to Atelli. The double team inside. Tried to spin out of trouble. And DaCosta ended up with a rebound that time. Here comes Ariel Johnson and Nina Young playing a little catch up top. It'll be Ariel Johnson who takes the shot. And Holloway hustles after the rebound. Erica Holloway has three rebounds for Pleasant Valley. Pleasant Valley from Chico. Looking to try to come back here, and it's not easy to do against a team like St. Mary's. There's Tuatelli in the open floor. That's a start, certainly. 
Beautiful pass by McKenna Joyce there. And a little bounce pass, Serena Tuatelli grabbed it, used her left hand, and laid it in. DaCosta a little bit strong. She Shot does a really good job of... Lane. DaCosta does a really good job of getting to the basket. She puts just one, one dribble and she covers a lot of distance. Very special player. You can see why she's rated so high in the nation. Just a junior. Tuatelli goes to the bench here at the end of the third quarter here. DaCosta lighting up at the free throw. That was the one thing. They were just 3 of 10 from the line in the first half. DaCosta has changed those stats. She's 4 of 4 from the free throw line in the second half for St. Mary's. Under two minutes to go now. Pleasant Valley does a really good job of passing the ball. They just have to get better shots. Nina Young has it as we wind down this third quarter. Long pass that time. Johnson looking for DaCosta on the lob, but she couldn't get up to get to it. Nice idea. DaCosta gives Ariel a little hand. Tom Gonzalez. Continues the intensity from start to finish, Nick. He doesn't let up. I like watching him coach over there. Always talking to his girls. Nice job getting it across now. Pleasant Valley will try to attack. Into the corner it goes. DaCosta got a hand up on that. And it's another turnover. 17 turnovers by Pleasant Valley. And I'm surprised they did such a great job taking care of the ball against Sacramento. And that was a big part of why they won that game. And uh, they, they just couldn't do it tonight against the intense defensive pressure put on by St. Mary's. I think you were the intense defensive pressure. That's what sets everything up for St. Mary's. They just swarmed the ball. Their defense is the best I've seen. It's going to be a big challenge for Cardinal Newman to go against this defense tomorrow. No doubt about that. Nice pass and inside Jada Moss scores. Cardinal Newman shot the ball so well tonight. If they can do that and take care of the ball, they'll have a chance. That's the recipe. Take care of the ball and shoot it well. Up top it goes to Erica Holloway. Holloway right down the lane. Nice bounce pass underneath. Shot no good, and DaCosta is right there for the rebound. Under 50 seconds to go now. Nina Young trying to find that hot hand again that she had in the first half. She's just one of five in the second half, but Young right there battles for a loose ball and puts it up and in. 29 points now for Nina Young as we wind down the third quarter. Still has a shot at 40. Well, good job by Pleasant Valley. They've slowed down St. Mary's. They were on a pace to get 100 points. They're going to have just over 65 here, possibly, at the end of the third quarter. And Nina Young cooled off here in the third quarter. Thank God for Pleasant Valley. Maya Oliver checking back in for the St. Mary's Rams, the freshman sensation out of Stockton. It'll be an interesting to see the two great freshmen going head-to-head -head if St. Mary's hangs on to this one. Anya Choice and Amaya Oliver. St. Mary's running kind of an interesting play here out of the inbound, kind of spread everybody out. Oliver to the rack hard, and an offensive foul goal on Amaya Oliver. Really good job by Kelsey Zelensky. Held her position there. The bigger player came in, but she wasn't worried about it. She stayed right there and got the charge. Shooting it at the buzzer. No good, Nicole Flint. So St. Mary's continues to dominate. They lead by 25. It was a tough quarter scoring-wise for Pleasant Valley. They managed just six points in that third quarter. Three quarters of play in the books. We will turn the page and be back with the start of the fourth quarter here in the semifinals of the Cardinal Newman Classic in just a moment. Are you searching for a great high school experience? Cardinal Newman is the only Catholic college preparatory high school in Santa Rosa. Be a part of a community where you will be known and supported 
during these key years of growth. Be a part of a fun and positive student body who embraces challenge and responsibility through faith, academics, service, visual and performing arts, and competition. Learn how to apply at cardinalnewman.org. Tonight's game presented by title sponsor Cameron and Cameron Ranch and Vineyard Supply featuring hand split redwood posts for a beautiful split rail fence. Cameron and Cameron delivering quality for over 40 years. Ready for the final eight minutes of this one. It is a 65 to 40 lead for St. Mary's of Stockton. Defense has dominated that third quarter. Lob pass underneath. Nice feed, the basket and one. Holloway finding Macy Leach underneath. Haven't seen much from Macy Leach tonight. She had a very good game against Sacramento in the first round. Coach Gonzalez has gotten all the players in now for St. Mary's. Leach didn't get the second one. Oliver had the rebound. All the starters are on the bench for St. Mary's. Not much of a drop off. I mean, their depth is impressive. No question about that. Same with Cardinal Newman. They have a lot of great depth as well. Not much of a drop off when you go to the second team. There's Oliver with a nice post move. Amaya Oliver now with 13 points in the game. Boy, is she going to be a great player over the next three years here at St. Mary's? Just a freshman. There's nice a scoop. plethora. Plethora of good freshmen in this tournament, Dave, but we mentioned it earlier, just, just unbelievable. It's McKenna Joyce who just took that last shot. She is a freshman, Kayla Joyce's younger sister. As St. Mary's now gets in the half court. Nice bounce pass. That one's not going to count. It's a travel call. And, and there's that backdoor cut that we were talking about earlier. They're just so well coached. You get out on the wing, you pressure the wing. The girls know immediately to go to the basket and they get these backdoor cuts, and a lot of times you're getting a layup off of it. If you're playing defense, you can't give up that backdoor cut. You have to let the girl have the ball out on the wing. Don't give them a backdoor cut. Down low, the pass taken away by St. Mary's. He's coming up with the ball that time was Sloan Sanders, but it has turned back over. Pleasant Valley now, Kayla Joyce almost fouled from behind. Bounce pass underneath, Claire Garcia makes the extra pass. Lane can't hit, Flint can't hit. Oliver has it for St. Mary's. Amaya Oliver tries to go behind the back and does. Flips it into the corner, now up top it goes. Sloan Sanders for three. <laughs> well done, Dave. You, had, you nailed that one right there, beautiful. Behind her back and the, passes it off for a three. Lead is up to 28 now for Pleasant Port St. Mary's over Pleasant Valley. Claire Garcia, boy, that was close. She hit net on that one, but it bounces out. TJ Murphy with the foul call underneath. Garcia, who had eight in the first half, hasn't scored in the second half for Pleasant Valley. She was right on that shot, just a little off. You know, I'm, I'm just amazed how Coach Tyler Newton put Kayla Joyce back in the game in the first quarter with two fouls, and she's still in the game and playing very well. Sometimes she, you got to roll the dice, and he did, and it worked out in his favor. Got off to a late start tonight. The first game of Oakland St. Mary's Berkeley went into double overtime, and St. Mary's won that one 83 80. Down the lane it goes. Kayla Joyce. And there was an injury in the second game before we started the other semifinal. Cardinal Newman won that one. Taking on Camp Alindo. They won easily. And a very impressive job of scoring in that other semifinal. Cardinal Newman 85 54 over Camp Alindo. So Cardinal Newman advances to the championship. They'll take on the winner of this one. It's gonna Kayla be Joyce, nice bounce pass to Tua Telly underneath. And a quick timeout taken by Tim Newton. 
We'll take a break ourselves. It's 70 to 46 St. Mary's over Pleasant Valley, and we will be right back with more from the Cardinal Newman Classic semifinals. Malloy, Emory, and Vasconi Insurance Services, a professional agency with personal service, insuring wine country since 1890. The Loft, Sonoma County's premier full-service salon in Fountain Grove, voted Best of Sonoma County's Best Salon. Tonight's game presented by title sponsor Cameron and Cameron Ranch and Vineyard Supply featuring hand split redwood posts for a beautiful split rail fence. Cameron and Cameron delivering quality for over 40 years. Kind of a game. 70-46, St. Mary's of Stockton over Pleasant Valley here in the Cardinal Newman Classic Semifinals. Third year of this tournament put on by Mona Myrtle and Mona Myrtle and all her help. The whole Myrtle family. The whole Myrtle family, yeah. Dad's <laughs> in the act, Heidi, her sister. And then all the rest of the support crew here at Cardinal Newman. They have a great support staff that helps put everything together. From the hospitality room to the programs, everything looks good in this tournament. Jada Moss firing one up. Bounce pass ahead. Pleasant Valley still fighting hard. They're not giving in. There's Garcia trying the three. No good. Bounced out of bounds. Yeah, I love it. I love the enthusiasm over there by Pleasant Valley. They're building for tomorrow. They, they, coming into this tournament and getting third place would be a a really big accomplishment for them. With all the quality teams in this, Dave, I think they've got the right idea right here. One too many steps right there. I'm very impressed by Coach Tyler Newton. I really like how he has has control of his team. They calls the timeouts in the right time. Very impressed with Pleasant Valley. Jada Moss with. Four minutes and 15 seconds to play. And a travel against St. Mary's. Pleasant Valley still fighting hard, I tell you what. Well, it's going to be a tough game for them tomorrow against Campo Lindo in the third place game. So, uh, you know, Campo Lindo is a really fine team, but I think they're going to, it's going to be a good matchup, very even matchup. Unbelievable talent in this tournament. Down the lane, Kayla Joyce, no good. Well, the strengths of both those teams are their, their guards and their, their, their inside players. So tomorrow, Tuatelli is going to battle against uh, Haley, and that's going to be a great battle. And then you've got Kayla Joyce and Ashley Toms. They're good. It's going to be a great matchup for that third place game. Kayla Joyce got the first one. Nine points for Joyce. And she got the second one as well. Nice ball game for her. Still have four minutes to play in this one. St. Mary's looking to advance to the championship. And we talked about uh, the scrimmages a week or so ago, St. Mary. It was at St. Mary's and Cardinal Newman scrimmage St. Mary's and Camp Alindo. So those teams. All know each other pretty well. Nice steal. Pleasant Valley gets to Claire Garcia in the corner. Step back for Garcia. She's cooled off a little bit after a big first half. Nicole Flint puts it up and in. And a foul call on Kayla Joyce. Pleasant Valley continues to keep the heat on St. Mary's. Well, they cut the deficit to 20 here, and Coach Kyler, Tyler Newton is still working hard over there. The enthusiasm is coming out of his girls right now. They're not giving up. They're trying to build off of this. I love that. I think that's so important right now. We've got another big game coming up tomorrow. Cut the lead here down to 20. They've got a full court press going on right now. Left handed scoop to the rack. Nice shot, St. Mary's. That was Chevelle Brown who got that one to go. She hasn't played much, but looked pretty good on that one. Here's the play before. Chevelle's in there, goes up with her left 
off the glass, right through there. St. Mary's is deep, okay? These players are all good. Got a uh, technical foul. I didn't see who was on. Yeah, I didn't see that. Caroline Stevens will shoot the free throws. I think it was a flagrant foul. Foul. It didn't look like one. She buries both of them. Championship game slated to start at five o'clock tomorrow night. The 3.30 for the third place game and 5 o'clock for the championship will be on hand for both of those. Looking forward to both of those. Like you said, that, that third place game is going to be a dogfight. Pleasant Valley and Camp Alindo. 74 to 50 now. St. Mary's with the big lead. Jada Moss, no good. Chevelle Brown trying to put that up strong. Brown is a junior. I like both matchups. I think Cardinal Newman's going to come to play in their gym here tomorrow against St. Mary's. I'm sure St. Mary's is going to be a big favorite in the game, but Cardinal Newman, like you mentioned, if they control the basketball and they shoot the ball well, I think they'll give St. Mary's a good ball game. Working it around the top, 2.25 to go. Kayla Joyce, Pleasant Valley, really having a tough time from the three-point arc in the second half. Nicole Flint has played very well. She fights for the rebound right there and will go to the free throw line. How much is it is the defense of St. Mary's causing this, or is it just an offshooting? Oh, it's a lot. Yeah, Pleasant it has Valley. a lot to do with that defense. There's yeah. no question about that. YSN 365 has done such a great job bringing these games, Dave. You know, people can. Go online and watch all the games. You've got them online. I got to watch a couple of the games I didn't get to see yesterday myself, and you're doing a great job. This YSN 365, the Youth Sports Network, it's not easy doing four games in one day yesterday, a couple games today. We ended up covering eight of the 12 total games from this tournament, and it's not easy. Our crew does such a great job. Director Brian Leach, replay director and engineer Martin Kornfeld, Michael Barabalt on graphics, keeping all the scores updated and the clock right. Camera guys, David Day, Forrest Murnane, Dylan Cattengill on camera, and of course Dale Watkins, who's done a little bit of everything. He's done some camera, he's done some graphics. You got a good posse. Good got a little posse. help from Ben Glassbrenner yesterday, who subbed in momentarily as that basket is good by Brown. Well, all these programs were by Nate Cox. He's done a fantastic job. Garcia misses that one. Kayla Joyce flips it over. Down the lane, Flint. A little bit strong. Minute and 30 to go. St. Mary's in control. They lead by 24 points. What a nice Nice pass. basket. Chevelle Brown, she has had a nice fourth quarter with six points. Beautiful Say, pass. Coach, put me in more often. Caroline Stevens just threaded the needle on that pass. Garcia, that is her first basket of the second half after eight in the first half for Claire Garcia. Nice ball fake that time. Flint keeps it alive. Garcia has the rebound. No look pass to Kayla Joyce with under a minute to go. Kayla Joyce hasn't stopped hustling. Gave her all the whole game. All, all the Pleasant Valley girls gave everything they had in this game. This may be the best opponent they're going to see all season. I don't know if they're going to see a better team than this St. Mary's team. Well, considering St. Mary's is ranked in the top 10 of the country, I'd say that's a pretty safe bet. You never know who you might face off in a tournament somewhere down the road. There's Garcia with the takeaway and the lay-in. Claire Garcia. So tomorrow night, tune in a little earlier. We'll have the 3.30 and the 5 o'clock championship game for you. That, of course, barring double overtime and injury like we had tonight. But looking forward to the final games of this tournament. Long pass ahead. And the lay-in in transition by Chloe Mayer. 
Hats off to Coach Tom Gonzalez. He played all of his subs the whole fourth quarter here. Meyer, nice no-look pass in the left-handed scoop. Nice job by McKenna Joyce. Again, she is just a freshman. 5 that one up, under five seconds to go. And this one is gonna be a final, 78 to 60. Pulling to within 18 points by Pleasant Valley. You know, credit Pleasant Valley for playing hard from start to finish in this one. It's a tall order when you play St. Mary's and they hung in there for a lot of it, but uh, St. Mary's is stocked and they're the real deal, no question about it. They are the real deal. And Hats off to, to, to Coach Tyler Newton. He kept his team playing hard. And you know what? That's a, a, mora, a morale victory right here. They cut the game to 18 points on the final. Yes, it was against the substitutions for St. Mary's, but, you know, that's going to be a great battle tomorrow. we got two really good games, Campolindo and Pleasant Valley. That's going to be a real good game. And then the final, I'm looking forward to it. I want to see if Cardinal Newman can play with St. Mary's. You mentioned earlier, Dave, that they did scrimmage each other so they're going to have a little feel for each other I think the goal for for Cardinal Newman is not to try to play this up and down game with St. Mary's they're going to need to control the ball work their offense and get quality shots no question about that the final is 78 to 60 St. Mary's of Stockton will take on Cardinal Newman in the championship game at five o'clock tomorrow night we'll also have the third place game between Camp Alindo and Pleasant Valley that one will start at 3.30 right here on YSN365.com. For Nick Matos and all of us here at YSN 365, I'm Dave Cox saying good night and thanks for watching. Good job. Are you searching for a great high school experience? Cardinal Newman is the only Catholic college preparatory high school in Santa Rosa. Be a part of a community where you will be known and supported during these key years of growth. Be a part of a fun and positive student body who embraces challenge and responsibility through faith, academics, service, visual and performing arts, and competition. Learn how to apply at cardinalnewman.org.